Now, Old Kampala Hospital has denied allegations by Muhammad Kabanda, a gentleman who recently claimed that her kidney was missing after extracted by doctors at the Said Hospital. Now, the Kampala Hospital's public relations officer, Anit, says that the case is under investigations and as a hospital, they are really being cooperative with Uganda police and other authorities that have picked interest in this matter. We deny the allegations for now because the case is under investigation and we are being cooperative with our police and the Uganda Medical uh, Bureau and our dental practitioners. For now, we can't comment any more further information about that as it's still under investigation. Also, a missing kidney is a huge statement. Radiologically but, or imaging-wise, you can tell a, an empty renal bed, an empty kidney bed, which has been empty for all the patient's life and one where an organ was removed. If an organ was removed, there will be a bit of ooze, or a bit of blood clots, a bit of tissue edema, we call it. The tissue are not, they're not normal. That can be told. Well, there you go. That other sound is for Dr. Frank Asimwe. He's a doctor at Kampala Hospital. Otherwise, if Kabanda's story is real, as he claims, let's hope he gets justice. <music> Now, UPDF has arrested their officer on the rank of major following the murder of his wife. This UPDF major was arrested after his wife, Maroon Tukamhebwa, was set ablaze that killed her instantly late last week in Sembable district. Well, according to the residents, the deceased had been involved in a misunderstanding with her husband, which they suspect to be the cause of death. So bad, may her soul rest in peace. Now, President Museveni has rejected the idea of chasing unregistered border border cyclists out of Kampala city. Hajat Kawanda, the minister for Kampala, revealed that the idea was halted after realizing that the move was going to cause insecurity and affect many Ugandans. Now, some reports suggested that President Museveni stopped the process after reading an intelligence report that the move was going to increase criminality in the city and other parts of the country. Now, there is an audio circulating on social media and uh, in this audio, a Ugandan woman called Joan Agnes Chotalimie says she was forcefully taken and uh, admitted in a hospital by her Saudi Arabian bosses and she suspects that maybe they want to extract her body organ because she says she's very okay. I have the audio right here and I'm gonna play it for you. But the senior presidential advisor on diaspora affairs, Ambassador Abe Walusimbi, says his office is following up on this matter, therefore Joan and her family shouldn't be worried at all. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. In case you have anything on your mind and you really want to comment on these stories, just put it down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Mino aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Amanya gange nze chotali miejuwani agnes ngandie no Saudi Arabia najira mu company jebaita Alaska International ye yande tenu Na ye ndi mudua lilomu kama wange yande, yande tanansula mudua lilongenda kuweza wiki. Nsababu yambi wa mwe. Nzebanji janjaba na ye siri murwade. Siri murwade. Bali mkunji janjaba na ye siri murwade. Atoru na kurwe juna gunde kukapapula nga kaliko athodopi kisa jari. Ngabala ganti wabana amalo kunji janjaba ngaba nungosa. Mumagumba. Gesi manjiba genda kunungosa mchu kubanga nze siri na chinuma. Bana nge nsababu yambi wamu. Nsababu yambi wamu bagenda kunzita. Mukama wange ye ya ngambi yibi nsonga zanga zireke de office. Office tefa ye sidise. Bana nge nsababu yambi. Aba sobo la mutambuzeka odiyo kanu.
nsobolo kufuna obuyambi Alaska International yeyande eta eri rubaga eri rubaga eri rubaga aunga kalaundi woyambu kila kuchachi ya pasta kayanja ni mukama wange yanda yande eta nebi tu yangebi nana nsula mudua lilo katusiri kubanga ni mbuza naba sawa banga mba vote bama nyi chishigenda kunda kukama nji janja po mwezi mulamba ni inga kakadi akala ka appointment date akala lakala ganti bagenda kunungosa Sisi na mwuruwa devunuma wabagenda kunungu. Sane wabanji janja wa wenyini sibulina. Justi bali mkunte kateka. Basobolo kunko la vio vivaga. La bana nge nsababu yambi wa mwe. Government weli eveyo. Basobolo kunzize Uganda. Banunulo kufambu wambe. Wendi sifuruma. Sifuruma. Bampe rekeleza ngeno kufuruwe lape kaya kutanu. Jendi kundi wangulu ni muka sengenze ka. Banda nge sababu yambi. Government ya office ya ganyo kufayo kunta asa. Government muwabali no kunyamba. Muwabali no kunyamba. Ndi damamu. Muduali, ndi mudamamu muduali rodepaita. Damamu medical complex. Duali redeni. Liendi muli li mudamamu wakati. Banda nge sababu yambi wamwe. Government ya sababu yambi wamwe. Muli gwechi kwa tako yena. Sababu yambi wamwe. Nisababu yambi wa mwensi polo kude wakanga andi mula mu. Banku baga iso bampa makerenda. Na isi manyichiche bagyanja. Bampa yirizanti ni na tibi nze siri na tibi. Kati ate tibi ya kwa taganila wano kulongo sa kwa nguku magumba. Banange nisababu yambi ngendo kufira puerele. Embera jendi musi jitegera government. Kampuni kampuni yeganyo kufayo kunyambe siri se. Banange munyambe munyambe. Nze chuo talimie juani agnesi. Na vila mairi kiti. Na vila mairi kiti. Next year vukini wange na eji ali anti wange. Tata wange yevulu mapa ulo. Abeda kayunga. Mba sababu yambi. Mama wange abeda nkoko njeru. Cheyamani wango woku chalo yesema nda ibula e mairi kiti. Chiri mubu kunja, nkoko njeru, banage, nsababu yambi, nsababu yambi, bakenda kunzi chiri obwe mage, government yone na yona jemuli. Mbasaba, mnyambe mnunule, mnjige mmikono jebjina, mmejava na bantu. Kubangenda kulongo sepu mwezi ogujia. Mbuba manjinti siri na chema, njine iba nkubaga, iso vampaga weke. Banage, sima iche ngenda kukula, kubanga ni wenzi la sima nyi uo. Nsapabu yambi wa muendinze kaka sera kanumbe